What's up guys, my name is Brandon and iOS 10.3 is almost here and thanks to the number of betas, we already know what to expect from the final version of 10.3. While many people have their eyes on the iPhone 8 and iOS 11 right now, iOS 10.3 is not a firmware that should go unnoticed. You should not ignore iOS 10.3. It brings a massive change to the iOS ecosystem that improves storage, speed, memory, you name it. We're gonna talk about that massive change in this video along with the other changes and whether or not I think you should update to 10.3 or pass. So first off, iOS 10.3 brings new animations when opening and closing up applications. Now this is something that a lot of casual users will not notice, but it's a nice and welcome change. When you go into settings, you'll notice a completely new panel atop the application that combines all of your Apple ID, iCloud, and App Store settings into one section. Not to mention when you first go into settings, it looks like it's like your settings, like you own it, it had your picture there and everything. But this is an awesome feature that saves you a lot of time. It just organizes the settings app a lot more. And this actually reminds me of Preference Organizer 2, which is a jailbreak tweak that categorizes settings into individual panels, something I think Apple should do or just allow us to do. Another thing that's really cool about this section is that you can see all of your devices and their locations without opening up the Find My iPhone application. So this is great if you have multiple devices like I do. And you also get a nice visual look at your remaining iCloud storage space. iOS 10.3 also introduces the new Find My AirPods feature, which allows you to track down your AirPods if they get lost. You can see the AirPods show up in the regular Find My iPhone application, and basically you could just play sounds on them if they get lost or anything like that, but they do depend on Bluetooth, so it's not gonna have, you know, the longevity and you're not going to be able to you know track them down from a distance like you would an iphone taking a look at some of these smaller changes you can now add a podcast widget to the widget section which will basically just show you the latest podcast you click on it it plays it and you can also go into the podcast application straight from the widget section you can now disable in-app rating pop-ups so you know when you get those annoying pop-ups asking you to rate the application you can now disable that in settings which is great also in the app store developers can now directly reply to your review instead of having to go through email to reply, which is a great step forward for the App Store. Speaking of developers in the App Store, they now have the option to push alternate app icons to their applications at any given time without you needing to do anything. They'll just change on your home screen, you know, when it's maybe a holiday or they just rebrand and they have a new logo, whatever it is, they can change it on your home screen without you needing to download or update the application. Siri is also growing up before our eyes and is a bit smarter now. So iOS 10.3 improves on Siri Kit, which allows third-party applications to integrate with Siri. So you can say, get me an Uber to Atlanta and Siri will now more efficiently get you an Uber to Atlanta. You can also do the same with paying people via PayPal or Venmo or something like that. You can say simply pay $5 to Adam on PayPal and Siri will pay $5 to Adam on PayPal. Now you could do this on previous versions of iOS, but a lot of the bugs have been fixed. Siri is a lot smarter, more applications are supported, and you can do a lot more with voice commands in general. You can also now view cricket scores by simply asking Siri. CarPlay now shows shortcuts for launching the most recently used applications and also shows the location of charging stations on the map. You can also now 3D touch on the weather icon and maps to see the weather forecast for your specific location. And there are numerous other small UI changes and tons of bug fixes in 10.3. But the biggest feature in iOS 10.3 is hands down the new Apple File system. Apple's been using the same 30 year old file system in all of its products but Apple File System is a brand new system built from the ground up and it's going to noticeably improve nearly every aspect of your device, whether it's an iPhone, an iPad, iPod, Mac, or even an Apple TV. Unlike the previous ancient technology, Apple's new file system is optimized for devices that use flash and solid state storage, which of course includes the iPhone. The file system was optimized for mobile first as it focuses on low latency, which means that it will prioritize actions like app launches and data delivery, so it will definitely feel faster. The new file system will also give back a significant amount of storage. I mean, when I updated from iOS 10.2 to 10.3, I got back nearly four gigabytes of storage on my 256 gig device, which is awesome. Now you may not get that same amount of storage back, but you will definitely get some back more than you're used to, which is great, especially for those with 16 or 32 gig devices. And lastly, Apple's new file system will help secure your devices more. It was built with encryption in mind, and it will definitely further protect your data. So that is what you get with iOS 10.3. As I said, there there are a number of smaller changes, UI improvements, and a lot of bug fixes, but you should now have a good idea as to what to expect from iOS 10.3. Now, the big question, should you update? And my answer is very simple. 
If you're not interested in jailbreaking, 100% absolutely update to 10.3 as soon as you can. The speed, the new features, the bug fixes, just the whole new file system alone makes it a no-brainer update if you are interested in jailbreaking. So there you have it, guys. That is my review on iOS 10.3 and whether or not I think you should update. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for a lot more content coming on iOS in the future. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.